even the most stiff or stuck up people, they, they turn into something else and it's always pleasant. This is taste made, food for thoughts. I like that she's a smart ass and bossy, but that at the same time she is sentimental, even she doesn't show it. So I like a character that is putting an act of being something because it's very human and then, then inside there's something else going on. I have an interesting one. I grew up uh, in a home where my grandparents on my mother's side were Spanish and then on my father's side Lebanese and I grew up in Mexico. So I had no concept. I, I thought all the food was Mexican. I thought that kipe was Mexican and paella was Mexican. And uh, I, I didn't realize that it was such an international mixture of things in my house. And I didn't understand why some people didn't know the names of these. Some of my friends didn't eat that or didn't know the names of that. Like, I love paella, and they're like, what? You know, so it took me a while to understand, to appreciate how lucky I was. My, everybody, everybody in my family was a good cook, uh, including my grandmothers, you know, my aunts. And so food was super important uh, growing up in my family. I like to, to, to think of cooking as uh, doing a painting. So I like to go to the markets love farmer's markets, look at the food, and start in my head imagining the tastes together and buy it and invent the recipe every time. And sometimes I've had to cook like in other people's houses and I, I like to have problems, you know, into how am I gonna solve this. I had to make an adobo the other day at someone's house in a kitchen I didn't know and I wanted to give it more texture, but I didn't want to use flour. I didn't. So what I did was took a uh, uh, chips, tortilla chips, and I grinded them. And that was part of the mixture that I did for a chicken, and it was delicious. So I like to be to be very creative when it comes to the kitchen. Well, I know my husband very well by now. I know some of the things that he loves, so I try to make that. And, uh, but sometimes I like to surprise him. But he, there is one thing that he didn't grow up eating that he loves, and it's not even Mexican, it's Tex-Mex. He loves chile con carne. I like to still experiment with it and make the, the, the beans from scratch, and uh, cook them with uh, sausages, uh, bacon, and I like to put some Lebanese spices in it, even some cinnamon. And uh, so I mix everything. I mix uh, some of the spices from the Mexico, from the Tex-Mex, from the, the, the Lebanese cuisine. So I, but I know that I can do no, I put like four different kinds of beans, I don't cook all of them from scratch. And I really enjoy, I really enjoy doing a recipe, doing a dish that I know he loves and always try to find a new angle. Sometimes it's really good with lamb. Oh my God. There is a dish from the region of Mexico that I come from called Minilla. And it's a shredded fish. And you know how much the cats like fish. And it's also very flavorful and a little bit spicy. So I think this would be the perfect dish for Kitty soft boss. It's also easy to eat, you don't have to, because she doesn't have the, the, the clogs, so that would be her perfect dish. I don't know that I have enemies. But when I feel that there's people coming to my house that have a hard time having a good time, if they're a little bit stiff, my go-to is tequila soup. And it's a specific type of soup that I do that has some tequila in it and 
it's fantastic. Even the most stiff or stuck up people, they, they turn into something else and it's always pleasant. I wanna say that there's a lot of metaphors in the film. It says a lot of, it talks a lot about important things that um, have a lot of weight in the modern world and it's done in a way that it's also very cool, you know, and fun. Uh, but I would like to say that a silly one is that we can all get along. We create a little family with cats and dogs. I have cats and dogs myself, and let me tell you something. I've trained my cat. He goes and walks with me and the dogs, and then we come back and they all sit together. Sasha, the cat, sits next to the dogs, waiting for their treat. It's very easy to treat, uh, train animals when you have the right treat to give them. Thank you, you too.